Um, one of the things I'm researching, because we're talking about text, is um, I'm doing a project with a group of there's two artists, and myself and one of that, and two writers, mm -hmm. around Clidec Gorge. So um, Clidec is Gilwern near Abergavenny, mm -hmm. and it's um, there's roadworks going on, and it's going to go on for another 18 months, really mm. cutting, widening the road, okay. having to, anyway, and it's, and it's a historically really rich area, mm. so we've got uh, it's the mining, you've got two different gorges of railways there, but also one thing that may be true, may not be true, is the, the rumour that mm. Shakespeare wrote A Midsummer Night's Dream in a cave, because oh, it's the cool. entrance to the longest cave systems there. Okay. And so I thought, mm. there, there's several different things I'm working with in this collaboration, but this is one of the things that I'm kind of going with. I thought, oh. And just thinking about the text that they use mm. um, in the printing process, I just love mm. Mm. like Beautiful. the mistakes. On some of the pages, yeah. they've got yeah. the page number and they've crossed it out Fantastic. and it's just a different number. Fantastic. And you can see the pages must have been relatively... Um, thin because you can yeah. see the print from the next page. I absolutely adore hand oh, hand type typesetted. Yeah. And look at the some, edges it's, are drawn it's in stunning. It it's stunning. It's stunning. And I there's there's the, the Japanese have a term wab, wabi sabi. Yes, I know. Oh, that that term. A beautiful. Yeah. And and an aged thing. Yes. But something that, so the idea is that you can never make anything perfect. Mm. And um, so, so computer computer printouts are so dull. Yes, they are so um, well perfect, aren't they? There's n there's no hit they do have some errors, yeah. like my printer has yeah. a dot. It yes, it comes out with, but they're not. But there's like something this. about, and you find it in old books, and, and the, sometimes the, the 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 ink bleeds too much, and, yeah. and it's just stunning. It's it's. And I, and I often used to try and find them, and, and the pieces that I used to work with, um, just to include it. There's just some funny things, like sometimes they have the next word at the bottom yes. so that they yes. can match up yes. the pages. Yes. And um, yeah. and yes. The, obviously the, the print face is interesting, and the, yeah. but the letters, the ha how yeah. they yeah. have changed, and words. And you can see the setting it's of Night's very... Dream is leaning slightly. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can see it's not straight. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. it's not lined up, isn't it? Is it? And 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 it, I keep bringing it back to sewing, but it's a bit mm. like sewing on on when you sew on on hard um, canvas, it's very rigid. But when you sew on linen, you, there are mistakes in the flaws in the linen, and it means that the letters sometimes do bleed. Sometimes, oh. and, and I was trying to get that kind of. Of, that sense of, 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 of response so that when you you get you get intensities of, of the black and then you then it's slightly thinner so even though you're counting and doing all you can to make it as perfect as possible it's not possible no. and here I've made a mistake and the, and the the um, the word oh. has, has left a, a shadow yes. and I can't get rid of it Actually, so you can see the strange. mind how come yeah. it's died? I don't know. Because it's not got no. damp. No, no. But there must exactly. have been some dampness in the air. Exactly. So maybe. Maybe. And so you can't help it. It's 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 And I suppose the, the yarn thread you're using is so heavily dyed to get that but intensity. But it should of be black. it should be fast. It should it? be. It should be. But it's clearly um, not. And this so that so that's it's there's something lovely beautiful. about that. Beautiful. Yeah. There is something lovely about when that. It's these um it's the mistake. Yes. In yes. all of these th yes. things that we do yeah. in life, in art, in yeah. whatever, it's the mistakes that actually high are often the most useful, aren't they? And it's also the most human. Yeah. You know, we are surrounded by things made by machine, um, mm. and there's, that's why I come to second hand bookshops. You know, they it's full of, of people's scribblings. You know, I, yeah. I love I love the um, often in books you've got you get. Things that they've used as markers, you know. Yes. Or just left in, or, or train ticket, or or you, you'll find a crushed flower or something. It's just heartbreaking. It's beautiful. So there's there's that um, serendipity that you. Yeah. When I lived in Bath for a while, I used to go to the studio there, and and and, and I worked as when I was a student, I worked at the Royal Exchange. Do you know Royal Exchange Manchester? In the round, it's a capsule. 
I don't know that, it's no. It's the most fantastic theatre. Oh. So it's like a space capsule that's been dropped into the Royal Exchange, which is where they sold all the the um, hay and the sugar. And the yeah. And it, I think it was made in the... I think it was constructed in the 60s or 70s. But it's completely contained, so all the sound is contained, and it, and it's just a stage in the middle, and all the seats are around it. Oh, so wow. nothing is hidden. It's an yeah. see march. And it's just so potent and powerful. Yeah. So Shakespeare in there is just energetic power and there's three floors and they'll they'll run around the 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 There's the a kind balconies. of balcony thing yeah. at the top. It's wooden. Is it wooden or is it it's something it's, else? No, it's there. actually metal because oh, it's, it's a kind of capsule with oh, feet. Yeah. So oh. it looks like it's been dropped into this space. <laughs> It's just fantastic. That sounds amazing. Um, and you, you ha- it has to be minimal. You can't, mm. you can't do big things because no. it would block the eye line. You have to be resourceful. There's always things that are going to go wrong, and, mm. and it, it, it's problem solving. That's and, and problem solving yeah. in the most immediate way. Yeah, that I, I found so quick exciting. fixes. Yeah, and things. absolutely. And, and and just and and relying on energy. So so the performance aspect of, of theatre, I think, is stunning. Um, there's nothing like it. Yeah. And I, th- I think it's sad that theatre is is so beyond most people's uh, price range. Um, yes, I would love to because, be able to because go I weekly. Think, yeah, because I think that that opportunity to be in front of something that is happening, um, and yeah. where each night is going to be different because something is going to change it. I'm talking because I've only just been reading yeah. Sarah Rule's book mm. about theatre. And She's really interesting yeah. how she puts it that we are putting a, yeah. a glass screen in between us or a plastic, yeah. us mm. and the people that are playing yeah. to us, whereas mm. in the street that's completely gone. And, and, and these small theatres. I mean, yeah. I, I, have a, I have certain theatre companies that I love and there's one called Shared Experience and um, I went to see them in, in London so I did a version of Angela Carter's Magic Toy Shop. Mm. And I love Ange- Angela Carter's work. But I always try and sit very close up and, and you know, you, you get the spit on you. You get yeah. bits of, you know, in this one they were, they were using this feather boa and you've got bits of feather. You are, <laughs> you are part of it. There's something, and, and some of the actors were naked on stage. You could smell their sweat. Yeah. You, and the hair products and yeah, all that kind of thing. Yeah, there's visceral about it. And you're, you're seeing, like you say, the rough rough edges. You're seeing their struggle. Um, there's something about Pacini and March. There's, it's a bit like when we were at school, we used to do tableaus. It was, you know, everything was... It, it's the picture stage. So you are an audience. You are watching this thing at a distance. Yeah. Whereas when in the theatre and the round, in these small theatres, you are part of their struggle to yeah. make this happen yeah because yeah. too much if you're sitting in the audience i feel you're like yeah. just watching yeah. and judging maybe yes. whereas if you've got you're closer yeah. in some interaction yeah. not that you might be pulled up on stage but that you might be touched in some way yeah. like in the closeness of yes. the actors yes. then i think that is nice a nice blurring of mm. those audience Actors, and and it boundary. it makes the audience slightly on edge, and I think that's a good thing. There's something yeah. There's something electric about that. You need to be kind of almost ready to say something yourself. Yeah. If yeah. And you're not separate because you're not. Um, the audience has such an impact on what's happening on stage. It should do. Mm. Um, because we're all these bodies, aren't we? We're, we're yeah. I mean, there's something about also. You know, I, th- I think about when I go and see a review, but also when you're sitting next to someone in a, in a when I go and see a show, a, an art show, you're experiencing this thing with other people, mm-hmm. um, as in a, a, a rock concert or something. There's something, so your input is 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 important. It's val- valid.